Let's rock and roll. See what the cards talk about around here, huh? Retrograde season, eclipses. Ooh la la. Let's go. Let's go. Leo. Leo, baby. It's Leo style. Hello, Leo. Rambling Mike here. Gonna play a little bit of tarot with you. Thanks for tuning in one more time. Appreciate the views. You know I do, my Leo. Always want to take a minute to gratitude. So very, very important. Leo, if you ever blessed me in any way, shape, or form, thank you so very much. So very, very kind of you. Appreciate it all. Large or small, my Leos. Doing relationship spreads here with my with my old classic gilded tonight. I can talk about home, work, family, the neighbors, the kids. I do got some love cards over here if you want to stick around for a love card. Uh, got a got a got a fun one right here to play with as well tonight. The old classic witches tarot, and you know the curveball right here many times. The uh, Mystic Moon Oracle. We're gonna top it off with a couple of the Bowie, aka the Starman, twenty-two major arcanas. To wrap up your spread tonight, my Leos. Let's have some fun, Leo style. Leo babies, what's going on with my Leos? Leos, let's do it. Let's cut it. Let's see if someone would jump. Well, we're going to dig in. Let's go, Leo. Sun, moon, rising, being. That's what's going on right here, my Leo babies. Damn it, that's that 10 wands. That's that 10 wands, Leo. That's that heavy burden. Oh, Lordy, how long are you going to carry that burden right there, Leo? Damn it, that thing looks heavy, Leo. That thing looks heavy. You know, the tarot only goes to 10. Probably about to throw that bundle down on the ground. You know what happens then? Then we pick up that ace of wands, don't we, Leo? We pick up that ace of wands about a passionate new beginning. Let's go. Leo may be getting ready to throw up. Burden on the ground. Here we go. Leo, Leo, Leo. What's going on around here? Oh. oh what's this? <laughs> oh. Oh. Leo, this is a communication card right here. It's a little page. It's a little page. Hi, Leo. <laughs> this is a 3D card for me. I don't know. Telephone calls. <laughs> Oh, 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 well, 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 maybe you already threw that bundle on the ground. It's a little page right there. It's a little page. I don't know. It could also indicate somebody that gave you the promise, you know, that didn't, uh, didn't pan out right. No, look at, look, 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 Leo. Ten cups came out. What is this? Wow, what's this new offer right here? That's a nice change in tens right there, Leo. That's a ten of cups. That's a, that's the old once upon a time there was Leo and they lived happily ever after. Leo, there could be a new little offer coming in here for you. It's somebody that thinks about what they're going to say here for a minute. They got it all planned out. Oh, Leo may be changing up some tens around here. Oh, damn. Shing! <laughs> oh, oh, snap, Leo. <laughs> That's an ace of swords right there. Gee, that, that can cut that can cut that load right off, Leo, right there. It certainly can. And uh, it definitely talks about uh, new beginning, new communication, at least. New communication around here. I love the dove. I love your cards coming out here, Leo. Happy April. Happy April. Swords down, talk about peace and quiet. Leo. Let's pull a couple more cards on this, huh? Shing! <laughs> Here we go. Here we go, Leo. Leo. Oh, eight pinnacles came out. Wow, what is this, man? Um... Of course, this is a card of hard work. Who's that rat thorn sitting up there on that table right there, Leo? Anyway. 
I like the page with the eight pinnacles, right? That's very interesting with ten cups. Coins. Coins have showed up around here. Maybe somebody that's willing to put in the work of a relationship. What? Maybe you're cutting that raton off of that table as well. Give me something on this. Got coins that showed up. Leo in the near future right here. Little page. Ten cups, ace of swords. Leaving ten wands behind. Give me one for my Leo, please. Leo. Damn, four wands came out. Leo. Leo. <laughs> That's about prepared for the big day, Leo. What is this, man? Throw them wands on the ground, Leo. What is this right here? This is like new communication. Somebody actually wants to build, like I said, that eight pins right by four wands. That could be somebody that actually wants to put the work in, you know, make a relationship work. I mean, we know that there's work involved in a relationship. Wow, this is a very positive, Leo. Very positive. Leo, new energy right here. So it looks to me. You know, I haven't seen any return stuff. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you tell me what's going on right here. Three cups is a card of celebration. It's a card of happy, happy, joy, joy. It is a card of possibly meeting somebody new. Or it could be an old friend. Wouldn't be the evil ex. It wouldn't be this one right there. But <laughs> shit, man. Shit, whatever's going on around here. Throw that bundle on the ground. Trade it in here for some happiness and some joy and some bliss. Let's, uh... Who is this creepy, creepy... Who's this creepy... This is a creepy-looking magician in this deck. I've ignored him three times. Yeah. Mm. Um, Gemini Virgo, Aries, possibly. Maybe it's Love Bomber number five. Well, I want to see what this magician's about. I don't like the that I don't not like that magician in this deck. They are creepy looking, man. I see him as love bomber number. Tell me about the love bomber number five. Ten wands. I put him right there by ten wands. Hmm. Oh, you pulled major arcanas out. A death card. A death card. That's a Scorpio card right there. Again, that's about death, birth, resurrection, and major transformation. I don't know. It certainly looks like you're letting that individual go. Off to a new world right here. This new world looks really, really good, Leo. Major Arcanas. Chariot to the Star. That's Cancer. There's Aquarius. Cherry to the star. There's a there's a golden coin. It's a new beginning right here. It says that uh, there's major transformation in that individual right there. Well, for you, for you. If that's resonating with you, you know that old magician. I don't like him, man. I don't like him at all. Who does that death card? Give me one. I want, I, I'm just digging around here because your future is absolutely bright. As a tarot reader, I'm interested in what this is right here. Um, a face card came out. A king of swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Possibly somebody, uh, you know, very stubborn, set in their ways. Um... They may try to return um, five pinnacles, whoever this is up here. 
Whoever that uh, creepy magician is right here that caused a transformation in your life, you know, the stubborn one, the stubborn one right there. Um, five Pentacles um, could indicate a possible return. I mean, it is Mercury retrograde. But this is all about a fresh start and a new beginning for many, many, many of my Leos. More major arcanas came out here for you, Leo. And uh, this uh, major can talk about a choice in lovers, so... Choose wisely. Let's see what the Witch's Tarot wants to talk about. Definitely talked about this old energy over here in your life. Huh? Looks like you're moving on. Yeah, eight cups, man. Eight cups. So they don't want you to move on. Look at them right there. Five pins. I don't know. They may be broke, too. They may be broke, man. More, please, from my Leo. Beautiful, beautiful major arcanas all upon this. A page of pins, the ten cups, ace of swords, cuts all that out. I'm just being a tarot reader. I'm looking at that creepy one right there. To eight pinnacles and four wands. This is somebody that's uh, willing to put the work in on a relationship right here. Happiness and joy and bliss. You may know them, you may not know them with three cups. But cherry to the star, the big old gorgeous ace, ace of pinnacles. This is a direction that the tarot would say move in this direction, let that situation go right there. But eight cups did come out on that. Eight cups can talk to Leo. You know, I love my Leos, man. They're fixed. I love you, Leo. I love you, Leo. But this card's right here saying that you put a lot of love into this situation. See all the cups right there? You put a lot of love into this situation. There probably was nothing but a burden. They probably took your money. Five pins is on here. Uh... And, uh, God, they may use the old black magic and all that kind of shit, too. Again, a ten wands and a seven of swords, a liar, the cheater, the liar, the cheater. I'm going to, I'm going to play with Mystic Moon Oracles. I love this beautiful, beautiful energy over here. Definitely, I hope that clarified that enough's enough over there. And they may be coming back because they may want more of your money. More your ooey gooey soft and chewy. No, hell no, hell no. I would I would go with this new energy right here, absolutely, with all these major arcana on this right here. And four of wands. And four of wands, four of wands, ten cups. Okay. Let's see what Mystic Moon Oracle says for my Leo babies. My lovely, lovely Leos. My lovely, lovely Leos. Mystic Moon, what do we got for my Leo babies? Leo. Oh, damn. Hey, hey, get up and go bolt the door. That says conclusion. That says conclusion right there. Yes, yes. Oh, oh damn. Ding, looks like the bell's gone off around here. Leo, Leo, that font says awakening. Leo, well, you know, they do have their place in our life, man. They cause us to ascend. Yes. Give me a card right here. Leo, Leo, Leo ascending around here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at this, man. Awakening to your big dreams. Ooh. Aquarius, you know, they do got their place. And, you know, eventually there comes a day when it's shing out of here, man. We're going to get some peace. And some happiness, and some joy, and some bliss, awakening, big dreams. I love your cards. Leo, my lovely, lovely Leo. Leo, Leo. Leo. <laughs> yeah, and you can kiss my donkey's tail. We are out of here. <laughs> we are out of here. That says refocus. Refocus on big dreams. Awakening to you. One more. What do we got right here? Oh, wow. Divine timing. Look at that. Look at that on all these major arcanas over here. Just cherry to the star. Just cherry to the star in divine timing. Leo, get ready. Get ready. Look at this ace of pins. It's gorgeous in this deck. Divine timing came out. Cherry to the star. The fool to the lovers. 
I always see this as Mark Anthony and Cleopatra, you know, those lovers that left a, a mark on the world. <laughs> wow. Four of Wands, Three Cups, Ace of Swords, baby. And who, and that, see, there's an opera right here. May come in in April, you know. Bringing Ten Cups energy, divine timing. Leo, Leo, Leo. Looks new to me. Oh, follow the signs. Signs, signs everywhere. The signs. So I'm pointing at this love story right here. Divine timing for my Leos. Oh, look at, look at, look at. This is my freedom card. Freedom. <laughs> yeah. It says free will. I like freedom, though. Freedom, Leo. Freedom. <laughs> oh, here's the summertime. Now that's Leo season, ain't it? And a fresh start and a new beginning. For Leo. <laughs> oh, divine timing and a little seasonal card right there. The signs and my favorite, my freedom card came out. All right, a couple of love cards for my Leos, huh? Couple of love cards from my Leos. This looks new. New, 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 new. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, that's that pink devil right there, Leo. You know, the codependency, needy, clingy. <laughs> you know, this one actually says addictions on it, too. Easy, <laughs> easy. Here we go. Oh, I gotta let him go. I gotta let him go. I I got a new love, man. What's going on around here? Got a new love. Got a new love right here, Leo. Let's put that down here by Fresh Start. Summertime. Freedom. <laughs> and signs, huh? Oh, heart to heart conversations. Honestly discussing. Honest communication. But what about that? Honest communication. No wonder Eight Pins is right there. Oh, it's all you're doing. <laughs> Since you've been calling in your soulmate. Calling in your soulmate. Oh, and you got your attractor on. Now, this is nice right here. Hmm? Is this something unfolding, if you ask me? So, this is about being in the now and being in the moment. Let the past be in the past. Get out there and smell the roses. Enjoy yourself and your freedom. And your freedom right here. It's a very powerful spread. About throwing those wands on the ground, Leo. For a new beginning. Let's see what the Bowie has to say. What we got right here? Let me get the all 22 of them in there. Leo. Leo. It's the fool card, my friends. This is about a fresh start and a new beginning. A leap of faith. Now, here is uh, Michael showed up. And we did get a, we did get, you know, I don't want to limit you, but we did get a seasonal card right there. The summer. That's your season, right? And uh, we got just about being in the now, being in the moment, loving on yourself, healing yourself with attraction right there. And then we got a fresh start, new beginning, and temperance showed up. Now, I call temperance the art of allowance, right? Learning to allow nothing but the best into your life. People, places, and things. Oh, wow. This, this is really nice, man. It could be long-term coming in here for you, Leo. If that's what you're interested in. Because that is the Hierophant. That is the Hierophant. Pop a pop of spread, Leo. My lovely, lovely Leo. If you made it this far in the, in the vid, Leo, thank you so very much. Appreciate your view. I do. Hopefully I've earned your subscription as one of your tarot readers. If I have, smash that subscription button, Leo. Uh, ring my bell. Hit that I like Mike button if you would, Leo. Appreciate that so very much. Exciting spread. Love is in the air. Do what's best for you, Leo. Post some cards in a few short days. Love and light. Bye for now, my Leo.